It's the ultimate kitchen wizard. Pop in a cold plate, press a button, and seconds later, a steaming hot meal emerges. It feels almost magical, this invisible wave transforming frigid food. And often, we hear that microwaves heat from the inside out. But is that truly what's happening? Or is this convenient myth hiding a far more fascinating and sometimes frustrating scientific secret? The truth about microwave ovens is deeper than you might think, reaching into the microscopic world of water molecules and electromagnetic fields. What seems like simple magic is actually an ingenious dance of energy. Welcome to The Smart Side, the channel where we unravel the ingenious science and hidden processes behind the everyday. Today we're stepping into the kitchen to uncover the surprising truth of how microwaves really work and why that inside-out idea is mostly a myth. First, let's clarify what a microwave is. It's not some form of nuclear radiation. Microwaves are simply a type of electromagnetic radiation, just like the radio waves that power your phone or the visible light that lets you see. They're part of the same family, just on a different part of the spectrum. Inside your microwave oven, there's a special component called a magnetron. This magnetron is the heart of the oven. It generates these specific high-frequency electromagnetic waves. These waves are then guided into the cooking chamber where they bounce around, hopefully encountering your food. Now, for the crucial secret. Microwaves don't just randomly heat everything. They have a very specific target, water molecules. Think of a water molecule, H underscore 2O. It's not perfectly symmetrical. The oxygen atom has a slight negative charge and the hydrogen atoms have slight positive charges. This makes it a polar molecule, meaning it has a positive end and a negative end, like a tiny bar magnet. The microwave waves generated by your oven are rapidly oscillating electric fields. As these waves sweep through your food, they create an electric field that constantly flips direction millions of times per second. And what happens when a tiny magnet-like water molecule encounters a rapidly flipping electric field? It tries to align itself. So, your water molecules are literally being pulled and pushed, twisting and turning incredibly fast, billions of times a second, to try and line up with the changing electric field of the microwave. All that frantic spinning and jostling against neighboring molecules creates friction, and friction as we know generates heat. This is why things with high water content like vegetables, meats, or leftover pasta heat up quickly in a microwave, while dry crackers or oil don't heat up much at all. So back to our original question. Do microwaves heat from the inside out? The short answer is, not exactly in the way you probably imagine. Microwaves do penetrate food typically a few centimeters deep from the surface. So the outer layer and the inner layer within that penetration depth start heating simultaneously. It's not like radiant heat from a traditional oven which only heats the surface and relies entirely on conduction to slowly transfer heat inward. A microwave causes the water molecules within its reach to generate their own heat. However, the reason food sometimes feels hot on the outside, cold in the middle, isn't because the inside is heating first. It's often because conduction. Once those water molecules within the penetration depth start heating, that heat still needs to transfer to the drier, outer layers of the food and to the very center of thick items through traditional conduction, standing waves and hot spots. Microwaves bounce around inside the oven, creating hot spots and cold spots, or standing waves. This is why turntables are crucial. They move the food through these uneven fields. Water content. Areas with more water will heat faster and more intensely than drier areas. Think about reheating a burrito with a soggy middle and dry ends. So, it's not truly heating inside out. It's more accurate to say it heats throughout the penetrated volume simultaneously and then heat spreads from those heated areas. Understanding this science empowers you to be a microwave master. Stir your food. This helps redistribute heated molecules and even out hot and cold spots. Cut food evenly. Smaller, thinner pieces heat more uniformly. Use microwave-safe containers. Never put metal in a microwave. It reflects the waves, causing arcing and potentially damaging your oven. Cover your food. This traps steam, helping to cook more evenly, keep food moist, and prevent splatters. Let it rest. After heating, let your food sit for a minute or two. This allows heat to continue distributing through conduction, evening out the temperature. So the next time you pop something in the microwave, remember the invisible magic at play. It's not heating from the inside out, but rather a billion dollar dance between specific electromagnetic waves and the water molecules in your food. 
Understanding this ingenious science allows you to unlock its full potential, turning cold leftovers into perfectly scientifically heated meals. Were you surprised by the true science behind your microwave? What other kitchen mysteries or everyday technologies do you want us to unravel on the smart side? Share your thoughts and curious questions in the comments below. If you found this explanation enlightening, smash that like button to support more smart content, share it with a friend who loves their microwave, and make sure to subscribe to the smart side for more mind-blowing discoveries. Stay smart and enjoy your perfectly heated meal.